before we uh, restart our simulation, we need to clean up all of our uh, data in this computational domain since uh, all of our numerical values are corrupted. So let's uh, click solution, clear solution, and click OK. So we could uh, restore um, all of our setting to the very beginning status right now. Okay, so there's no data uh, uh, right now. So that's a good sign. Uh, we change the total pressure at the inlet. Let's change it to just 1,000 Pascal. And let's run our uh, simulation and see if we could uh, success this time. Okay, so it seems the residual uh, has the trend going down, so it uh, seems uh, smaller uh, initial total pressure at the inlet works. You can see uh, our flow contour right here. Okay, so it seems uh, the residual is keep going down, so we could tune up the total pressure value to 2000 Pascal it is uh, it is okay when you change the value while you are running the simulation that's a good part for uh, star system uh, it uh, allow you to uh, change different values uh, while you are running so uh, we could uh, keep increase the inlet pressure value and uh, until we reach uh, our target value. Okay, so I think I increased the value too fast, so uh, our simulation diverges again. Uh, so uh, we, we, we might need to increase the value slower, uh, so uh, we could avoid diverge uh, in our simulation. Uh, there's also one more way to do uh, increment at the pressure at the inlet, uh, which is we could use uh, uh, internal variables of star CCM to uh, make this happen. So uh, let's talk about this at next video.